So I've had a client reach out to me for some centerpieces for a dinner party that she was going to be having. And the palette that she was choosing was a neutral palette with whites and greens. As it happens, I don't grow a lot of whites and I was planning to probably supplement with some locally grown flowers, but I, I had the chance to have her here and to walk through my gardens and see some of the things that she liked. And one of the first things that she really gravitated towards were these dark purple drumstick alliums. She also was enjoying the blue oryngium, the blue echinops. She loved the uh, blush, sort of lavender blush colored silene. She loved the pink asclepias and she even um, noticed the very sort of dark black velvety reddish rubecchia that I have. So this is probably a lesson in listening to your clients and being able to be flexible as a florist. Um, given the sort of assortment of colors that she had sort of noticed when she was here, I took a little leap and I decided to build the palette off of these dark purple alliums. I think she really enjoys dark, dark colors in her in her flowers and so I decided to work with those and then my main white flower which would be a focal was going to be daisies and as they have a yellow center I decided to work in softly with some soft yellows as well so as you can see from the color palette that I chose I I really have a complementary palette with some whites uh, but by keeping the colors either dark or muted, I was able to achieve the look that she ultimately wanted. I hope you enjoy watching the process of how I put these together into the finished garden style designs at the end. working in tandem here to green all of my vases at the same time for an efficient workflow. I'm putting snapdragons in first to help establish my line and guide my placement of my other flowers. These sweet little rose clusters have a natural drape, so I'm just going to let them do that and use them as a more cascading element.
feet piece. Some eryngium. And I have a few scabiosa. This is blue fama or fama blue. Just want this guy to float. So fever few, they're very cute. Fun thing is they mirror the daisies. All right, these beauties are all done and I'm going to get them boxed up now and ready for safe transport.